As many of you know, I had a party two years ago at my house. My daughter came to me and said, Dad, let us use your house and we'll do all the work, Paul and I, my son and daughter. Just let us use your house. Before I could say yes, she announced parties at my dad's house. <laughs> and I did provide the canopies, the tables, and the chairs, which cost two, three hundred dollars. But they took care of everything else. But my son enjoyed it so much, he said, Dad, let's have it again. And I said, great, let's do it again. I had fun too. My daughter likewise. So we're going to have it the following year, but we had the virus, COVID-19. So we didn't have it. This year we did have it. We had 50 people instead of 70. The reason is twofold. One, people were concerned with all the fights breaking out in the airplanes because of mass, no mass issues. And so our family from Florida, Texas, and Arizona did not show up for that concern. Secondly, we imposed another condition for concern for the children and the older ones and those who, went, those who had a weakened immune system. We said, no vaccine, no invite. And consequently, instead of inviting 100 people, we invited 60. Instead of having 80 or 90, we had 50. And that was a blessing in disguise because that fit perfectly with where I showed my, my pictures. <clears throat> And so when it started out with the nice hors d'oeuvres and drinks and talking to family, and then I got into presentation, I acknowledged all those people who deserve to be acknowledged, like people got engaged, people got married. Uh, Natty got his PhD from UCLA in the sciences, bachelor's, master's, and a PhD. He married my youngest granddaughter. She got her medical degree from Keck Hospital of USC and graduated in the top of the class. And so that was significant. Then I, I identified those people who were there for the first time at my house for this particular function. I've had many people there at my house for many functions, but not all of them were there for the Christmas. I acknowledged them. Then I got on to presenting the pictures. And the pictures went, went over extremely well. So well, people were yelling and screaming and taking pictures. It disrupted my whole presentation. <laughs> I just sat there and waited. <laughs> They stopped laughing and taking pictures and enjoyed it. It was a good interruption because they were enjoying it. Then I finished it off by uh, having a song played by Louis Armstrong called It's a Wonderful World. Very appropriate for Christmas time. And the nicest part of it, at the end, tail then he talked about love. And they say you don't destroy evil with evil, you destroy evil with love. And he used icons of little six, seven year old girls, boys, holding hands, sitting together, walking. And it was subtitled, I love you. And subsequently, I said a prayer, and we had food, had a great time. And from this, one bad thing, like I mentioned, I should, could have used an outside heater. Because <laughs> even though it was 69 in the daytime, in the wintertime, when the, temp when the uh, sun goes down, the temperature goes down too. <laughs> a minor thing. But it had three huge pluses. I got nine Christmas gifts. I never got so many gifts, and they're specific for me. Half a dozen had my name, and three beautiful bottles of unusual usual bottles of wine. And they were placed on my inside bar instead of the outside bar. The outside bar was for the guests. My, my son was the bartender. The inside bar, that was my bar. And every time I have lunch, I see the, all those gifts. I'm like a kid in the, in the candy store. And this is especially significant since many years ago, as the family was growing, we said no more gifts for adults. It's getting out of the question. Kids only for the children. Still 10 or 25% of people still give gifts, but you don't feel obligated. And you don't feel bad if you don't get a gift. And here I am getting nine gifts. Big plus. Secondly, I learned that new televisions have PC technology. I didn't know that. You look at new TVs, it's Netflix, uh, YouTube, etc. Big deal. So what? You know, you get pictures, you get movies, and so on. But it's more than that. The reason I got the new 82-inch TV set was to pre replace my 16-year-old 65-inch set. It was still working unbelievably well, but not as good as new technology. My point was to get a wire from my PC, hook it to the TV, and with, and with my PC, locate children's Christmas cartoons. That would entertain the children so the adults could interface with their adults. But I had TV, had YouTube right there in the TV. It was more than that. 
With this TV, we have a search engine. You can search for uh, sports activities, songs, music, and you can search in two different ways. You can type in Elvis Presley, a bunch of songs will pop, pop out. You pick that, you can, Christmas songs or children's songs, and they'll pop up and you pick them out. Or you can verbally search for them. There's a microphone on the TV set. You punch the microphone and you say, I want music by Andy Williams or Frank Sinatra or whoever. I didn't know that. In addition to that, it's got a memory in there that lists the songs that you have selected in chronological order. For example, you're gonna make it a presentation at some activity and you wanna make sure only a certain music or items show up in sequence and you don't wanna trust your memory. So you select them ahead of time, they're in the memory for you. You click on the first one and up they pop in chronological order. And there's a folder in there in the TV set you can take those songs or those sports activities and put them in that folder. And that way you can pull them up whenever you want. It's got a history section, it's got a folder, it's got a search engine and two modes of operation. One by typing in and one by verbally calling it out. Amazing, I didn't know it had that computer power and it's got a USB connection. Very significant. Why? Well, because then I could put all my pictures that I was gonna use PowerPoint or, or <laughs> uh, Ron was gonna do for me, did for me before, and show them in PowerPoint, which needs a projector, a screen, a laptop. I don't need all that with a USB connection. Why? Well, I just put them all in a folder in my computer, put them in a flash memory, hook them into US connection, up, up my pictures. I don't need PowerPoint, I don't need projector, I don't need a screen, I don't need a laptop. All because of this new TV set. That techni te technique exists in today's TV. Not just a bigger, better picture, but endless amount of computer power. And at the end, the most important thing, a frozen relationship where two of my, my sister's granddaughters and her daughter-in-law thought I was the worst guy in the family. Nothing can be further the truth. I've done more, I've had more issues financially and career-wise than anybody in the family, and I've come out ahead. And I've done more for the family. I didn't have to say that, people knew that. Well, what happened, after five presentations, two for funerals, two for Christmas, and one of 50 wedding anniversary, they got to know me better. And from the from instead of treating me in very cold fashion, not even acknowledge me, the two granddaughters now come up to me and hug me. At the end of my presentation for the second time, Kathy came up to me, hugged me, and said, thank you, Tony, it was a beautiful presentation. In the whole process, they got to know me by showing the pictures. And Vicki, the granddaughter, I went to bed early, she left me a text message, she says, uncle, I looked all over the place where I want to thank you for the beautiful presentation. Next morning, I text her. I said, did you like the picture of your dad when he was two years old? Yeah, I liked that. In fact, I was taking pictures all night long and sending them to my sister in Connecticut. And the tone of voice was one of warmth and love yeah. as opposed to being frozen and angry and disappointed, all because of Toastmasters. I could not have done all that if I hadn't Toastmasters trained. As a matter of fact, my sister-in-law, Lily, came to me and said, Tony, you're the only guy in the family who had the nerve to go up there and cover all these, su all these subjects that you covered and show all these pictures. You did a beautiful job. And that was the most significant thing, is healing a family issue without even trying to do it. Thanks to Toastmaster. Madam Toastmaster. Right.